Okay, this is the Thompson's Kidderminster shop where we booked our holiday, which proved to be memorable for all the wrong reasons. So here we are in Menorca after a relatively short flight from Birmingham, uh, just over two hours. The apartment looks okay from the outside. Um, we've been to the morning meeting, spoke to the rep. Um, this holiday was booked through Thompson's and they told us it was a three star rating but the rep informs us that it's a 3T which is Thompson's own rating system but the official rating is actually a two star so we'll let you know how things progress Hi again, we've been in Menorca for one week now so we're seven days into our ten day holiday um, Overall, I would say we're quite disappointed with Thompson. Um, it didn't match any of the criteria that we asked for. As you can see, we've got an outside seating area, but if you try and sit out there, you get bombarded with flies all the time. So inside, we have a seating area over here and a dining area there, small TV, not many English channels available and a kitchenette area. The standard of the kitchen units is pretty poor to say the least and the state of the sink as you can see is very dirty and rusty and also that applies to the tiles not looking very nice. We've got a kettle, a microwave and a toaster only one electrical socket so you can only have one item on at a time. We have a gas cooker um, no information about the gas cooker and the fact that we needed a lighter to get it started which wasn't provided. Okay so if we move on into the bathroom area um, this is in a poor state of repair you can see there chip in the sink the state of the tiles is terrible. We have a water leak down here, which leaks all around the toilet. We constantly get lots of flies in here. There's no ventilation at all in the bathroom, no extractor unit. The only thing you can do is try and open the window a little bit, but if you try and do that, it doesn't open a little bit. It opens completely, which may not be what you want when you're just getting out of the shower. As you can see, the state of the tiles in here are appalling. Uh, it's in a very poor state of repair. The tiles are absolutely filthy. The bath itself is not a lot better, to be honest. So we're disappointed with that. Into the bedroom. The bedroom, reasonable size. It looks reasonably tidy. We're quite used to a firm mattress, but what we found here, the, it's like sleeping on the floor, sleeping on these beds. Um, we, each morning we wake up with a backache. So quite often we end up, one or both of us, move to the sofa and sleep on there because it's the only way we can try and get some sleep. Um, the One other comment about the, the apartment... Um, it doesn't appear very secure to me. The outside shutters can easily be prized open from from outside. Um, there's just a single bolt holding that door. So if someone wanted to, they could easily gain access via these doors or, or via the windows. But they do give you the option to have a safe, which is €12 Euros per week. So that's the apartment. We get a lot of flies in this apartment. It's, it's not very nice to stay in at all. We wouldn't recommend Sombo Gardens. Um, outside of the apartment, we're not too far from the pool area, which is just over there. It's quite a nice pool. Um, you'll notice there's not many people there at the moment, even though it's 11 a.m. and quite warm. Um, that may be because the sunbed hire is four euros per day. Um, another little extra you need to consider. We've also found that 
the food is quite expensive at the supermarkets here um, so just keep that in mind and if you end up coming to Minorca and Sombo Gardens if you don't mind roughing it then this could be the place for you but if you like a bit of luxury I'd look elsewhere and read the reviews okay thanks so a quick summary then of our holiday booked through Thompson in Kidderminster um, we went into the shop and made it absolutely clear what we were looking for in a holiday um, we said what we liked was somewhere quiet we didn't like being on a huge resort um, somewhere with a decent rating and we said it was a ruby wedding anniversary celebration so we didn't mind paying a little bit extra to get something with a bit of luxury so we took their recommendation and ended up at Sombo Gardens in Menorca um, when we arrived it proved to be a big disappointment the standard of the apartment as you see from the other videos was terrible um, they told us it was a three star rating but it was actually a 3T rating which is Thompson's own rating system so that meaningless the official rating was two star um, We'd been self catering before, but always had basic things included, like a bottle of drinking water there for when you arrive, um, things like a washing up liquid and a sponge or cloth to do the washing up, and also a hairdryer. We had not that I need it myself, you'll understand. Um, we had none of those things at all uh, in our apartment, and the state of it was pretty poor, it was not clean at all. Um, I think the holiday started badly and got worse and what I mean by that is um, a few days after booking the holiday I got a phone call to say um, did we want to pay extra to upgrade our luggage allowance from the standard 15k um, we declined that um, and then a few days after that I got another phone call to say oh, did we realise that we are not guaranteed to be seated together and for an extra £50 each way we could have that guarantee. Um, I said I didn't really understand why it cost Thompson more for us to sit together so and said that we'd never paid any extra for this privilege before so I said we'd take our chances. So uh, a couple of days before our holiday we received our boarding passes and we were indeed seated apart about five rows apart um, called Thompson customer service and complained about that and said I didn't think it was right and uh, they said well there was nothing they could do but they did offer us the option to still um, pay £90 to cover us for both ways and guarantee seating together um, but at a principle I declined that and thought we'd accept our fate um, so when we arrived at Birmingham Airport at the baggage check-in um, place the check-in operator took our boarding pass looked at it and said oh do you realize you're seated apart from each other we said yes we are aware of that but and we are disappointed because it was a anniversary holiday and um, so we're disappointed um, he then said oh there's a bit of an imperfection with the print on this boarding pass so I'll reprint them for you so he, he reprinted them gave them back to us we walked off when I made our way to the departure lounge it was only when we sat down there and looked at the tickets that he reprinted and realized that we he had actually moved us so that we were sat together so that was good news but in a way that makes it worse because it implies that Thompson had seats next to each other but deliberately put us apart just by, because they were trying to extract more money from us and I think that's pretty disgusting um, so overall we wouldn't recommend Thompson at all uh, I wouldn't recommend Sombo Gardens if you're paying the amount we paid we had a 10 day holiday which cost us about £1,046 with airport parking um, 
other people we spoke to who managed to get self uh, get all in holidays for the same duration in much nicer hotels but I suppose that's the look of the draw and shopping around um, so overall we give it a generous 1 out of 10 um, Menorca itself was nice there's some nice walks around the beach at Sombo is really nice um, the walk along the coast to St Thomas is one of the nicest walks we've done in a long time um, we did that on a couple of occasions um, but as regards to Thompson a big disappointment um, we would definitely use a different travel agent for any future holidays uh, sorry it was a bit negative but um, hopefully when we do book with someone else we'll have better news next time thanks for watching